Stocks Santa here. We're going to go over 10 high paying S&P 500 dividend stocks. You ready? Let's go. Wait, someone told me once that the seam belonged in the back and that I didn't know that because I'm Jewish. Okay, now you can smash that follow and let's go take a look at some dividend stocks. Number one on the list is the Ford Motor Company, but it actually has a warning that they could cut their dividend. Ford has a dividend safety grade of F, a dividend of 5.45%, and that's about 60 cents per year. Up next is Truist, which is down 18% in the last 12 months. They have a dividend safety grade of C, a yield of 6.06%, and that's about $2.08 per year. Number three is Boston Properties. It's a real estate investment trust that specializes in office space, so ugh. They have a dividend safety grade of C minus, a yield of 6.12%, and a dividend of $3.92. Key Corp is $13 a share. They're down 22% in the last 12 months. They've got a dividend safety grade of C plus, a yield of 6.18%, and it's around 82 cents per year. Kinder Morgan is $17 a share. They've got a dividend safety grade of B minus, a 6.38% yield, and a $1.13 annual dividend. Health Peak Properties is down 26% in the last 12 months. They've got a dividend safety grade of D plus, a yield of 6.40%, and an annual payout of $1.20. It should be no surprise that AT&T is on this list, even though they're down 11.5% in the last 12 months. And they have a dividend safety grade of C. They pay 6.56%, which is around $1.11 per year. And if AT&T is on the list, you know Verizon is too. And look, they're actually up this year. Verizon has a dividend safety grade of C+, a yield of 6.95%, and that's around $2.66 per year. Walgreens is down 43% this year. Ouch but they have a dividend safety grade of B minus, a yield of 8.29%. That's around $1.92 per share. We have one left. It happens to be my favorite. And before I get to it, it would mean a lot if you smash that follow, hit the share, the save, or even left a comment. Thank you. It means a lot. Last one is Altria, which is down 11.87% year to date. However, they have a dividend safety grade of B minus, a yield of 9.49%. That's around $3.92 per share. That means if you had 100 shares, you'd make... $392. And look at this, 53 years of dividend growth. I didn't realize I had a pimple on my face this whole time.